Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today I will show you guys 12 iPhone tricks that are actually very, very useful, but you probably haven't used them on your device, but you should actually use them because as I said, they're very useful and will help you do a lot of stuff faster and a more efficient on your iPhone. Like the first one right here, whenever you're writing a note and you need maybe to attach an email to that note, there's a really, really easy way to do that. Head on to your mail app and find the email that you want. 3D touch on it just like this. You can just drag it out of the email app. You can see, I can just go ahead and paste it right there. Basically drag and drop into any of my notes. Of course, I can continue with the note here. I will have the link to the email right there. Now this may be when you're doing like a shared note with someone, maybe your coworkers or something like that, and you wanna share an email, you can just add the email to the note. And of course, from here, you can go ahead and open that email. Now, what's really cool is that you can also attach emails to your reminders. So if I just wanna get a reminder and I wanna have it with one of my emails or maybe even notes, you can even drag notes to your reminders. Here's what I would do. Just simply drag one of my emails and right there, I can just go ahead and paste it on the reminder. I can add a new reminder or maybe just paste it right there to tonight and it will automatically create a reminder for me with that email included right there. Now here's a feature I'm pretty sure a lot of users don't actually use on their iPhone. And that's the ability to actually open any app directly from the lock screen without even having to go to the home screen and search for the app you want. Simply drag down here to invoke the spotlight search and you will have your suggestions right there or you can just simply search for any app you want. So if I just search for X right here, you can see I will have two apps starting with that letter. I can just go ahead and open any one of them directly here from the lock screen. Most of the times nowadays I see people when trying to open the camera, they will go for the button right here. It's actually a bit harder to launch it from here and it requires you to force touch in it to actually launch it. The easier way to do that is actually doing it simply by swiping here from the right to the left and there you go to the camera app. Now what's really cool is that that will also work as a turn off button for your flashlight. So if you just turn on the flashlight from your lock screen and you wanna quickly turn it off, you don't need to actually reach for the button, simply swipe here and it turns off the flashlight. When you're on iMessage and you have a conversation with someone, of course you have sent pictures, maybe videos and screenshots. Did you know that iMessage has actually a dedicated section for screenshots. So if you just want to search all the screenshots that you have sent and received on a conversation, you simply tap right there. And then when you go to photos to see all, you will have all of your photos right here. Then it says screenshots, you tap right there and you will have a section where you will see all the screenshots that have been sent and received on this conversation. Now you probably know that on iOS you can now take a quick note just like on iPad. But to do that you will need to go to your control center and you will have the button right there to start a quick note. Well the easiest and the fastest way to do that is actually using Siri. So you simply invoke Siri, you can use the word, I don't wanna say it here, I don't wanna just trigger Siri on your devices right now, but just say quick note, quick note. And just like that, now you're typing a quick note. Now here's something really cool you can do on your iPhone. You probably have heard of the voice control feature on your iPhone. If you go to voice control here and enable it, then you can go ahead and go to commands. If you go to commands, you will have here custom commands. Now what you can do here is create commands that will allow you to perform actions on your device using your voice. Like here I have one named next and what it does, it basically triggers like an action that I have recorded here. I will show you guys how to do that. But if I'm here on an app like this, I can just say next, next. And you can see it triggers the action. It will actually switch between videos. Now to create that, you go here, you enter the name right there. You can set the action right here, insert text or run custom gesture or run a shortcut. 
can just go ahead and choose the gesture if i just want to try this to go back something like that i tap on save of course just enter the phrase here which you will actually use to invoke that gesture and you're good to go now right here under the accessibility settings you will have another section which is really interesting called face id and attention and i'm talking about this feature right here attention aware features now this is actually very very useful if you have this enabled and you should have it enabled on your device what it will do is that your iphone will use of course the face scanner right there to check whether you're looking at the phone or not and that will prevent the iphone screen from dimming if you're watching the phone or it will expand the notifications when it's locked and also it will lower the volume of alerts if you're looking at your phone just notice this if you have this enabled and you get a phone call the ringer won't be that loud because it knows that you're looking at your phone now here's one of my favorites Head on to the shortcuts app and then go right here under automations if you have a car that offers carplay then you need to have this automation on your device you have here carplay tap on run immediately tap the next button and what you can do here you can just search for play music or you will find it right here at get started if you tap there now you can go ahead and tap here and choose any album or playlist from your music app so you will be able to actually browse your music app and what you can do here when you go to an album or a playlist you can choose any of the songs or you can just have that plus right there at the top tapping that will allow you to completely add that album or playlist and now once you're on your car you connect the carplay it will automatically start playing the album or playlist that you choose now on your device you probably take a lot of screenshots just like anyone does you're trying to show something to someone you take a screenshot send a screenshot but that way you'll probably end up having a ton of screenshots stored on your device just taking space that's of course necessary for other things now one really cool thing you can do is take a screenshot and then tap here tap the dumb button and it will give you this option right here copy and delete it deletes the screenshot from your device but it's still copied on the clipboard of your iphone so you can just paste it anywhere and send it to anyone you want so right here you can see on iMessage i can just go ahead tab on paste then we have the screenshot and we can send it directly from here now go to your settings and just under your wi-fi settings you will find of course the wi-fi networks you're connected to go ahead and tap the i button at any of the networks you're connected to and you will find something here called private wi-fi address now what this does it will basically prevent trackers from tracking your device from network to network now devices use what is called a mac address to identify on a network this will hide it will give you a private wi-fi address so make sure you enable that it will be great for the privacy of your device and last but not least you can actually use the spotlight search to convert pretty much everything you want right here 20 kilograms of 44 pounds and you can even copy it from here so you tap right there it will copy you the result it's very easy you can convert different units you can convert currency anything you want without having to actually install a third-party app directly from the spotlight search so that is it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed the video go ahead leave a like if you did of course subscribe for more videos like this and i'll see you on the next one